Hi, welcome back to the Convection Connection. Today, in episode five, Larry Green shows off his recently acquired knowledge while he and I take a balloon ride high above the CU Boulder campus. And we unexpectedly meet my friend and colleague, Dr. Alex Weaver. Hey, Larry, glad you could make it. Hey, and where'd you find this thing? Well, my good friend Michael over there provided the balloon for this morning. Hey, Larry, today we're going to talk about convection. You remember that helium balloon? Yeah, I do. Helium rises because of buoyancy. The helium is less dense than oxygen. Very good. But uh, why does a hot air balloon rise? I mean, after all, there's air both inside and outside the balloon. But the air inside the balloon is hot, and the air on the outside of the balloon is cooler. Very good. I'm impressed. Uh, anything else? Well, yes, as a matter of fact. If you heat a portion of the air, the faster moving molecules will push aside the slower moving molecules of the surrounding cooler air. The warmer air now occupies a larger volume than before, and so it has a lower density. And because the warmer air is less dense than the surrounding cooler air, the upward buoyant force on the air lifts it upward. Hot air rises just like helium gas rises because the upward buoyant force from the surrounding air is greater than the downward force of gravity. You're getting too smart for your own good, Larry. How'd you know all that? Actually, everything I learned, I learned from your colleague, Dr. Alex Weaver. And look who's here. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Well, where'd you come from? Well, doesn't matter, but how are we going to get down? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, we eventually came down. For a review of what Larry was talking about, let's take a look at this model. This is a convection tank. The fluid at the center of the tank is rising. That's because it's been heated. The fluid at the edge of the tank is cooler, so it sinks, setting up a convection current. Exactly the same thing happens in the Earth's atmosphere, in the Earth's oceans, and even inside the Earth, and even inside the Sun. Next time, in Episode 6, Dr. Alex Weaver and News 4 meteorologist Larry Green will talk about how convection works in the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs>